The Air Force has constant need for ISR missions. We were able to greatly decrease the size and volume of an antenna by a factor of eight, expand the bandwidth, and improve the performance. It's game-changing technology. Our customer, the Air Force, asked for something that we didn't even think was possible. For instance, a soldier on the ground or an aircraft in the air can't add more and more capability because it takes more power, more weight, more cost. We're able through the development of these ultra-wideband antenna technologies to allow one system to do many functions and that enhances the benefits to the warfighter. And it pushed us to be able to do something that even we didn't know if it was possible. So there were a lot of struggles, a lot of challenges, but the success was worth it. This antenna is actually an array of four elements. In addition to helping us meet the challenges with achieving the required depth, it also gives us the ability to steer the beam to a moderate degree, giving you more control over where your beam is actually pointed on the ground targets. This TPOC in particular has been uh, a very engaged customer with us. He's helped guide our technology, not only from the original topic that we pursued, but really all of the offshoots that have come from that. So uh, we have a really great relationship with this particular TPOC and he's helped expand this technology, not only driving it himself, but also letting us kind of drive in, in different areas that we see benefit. The work the work with First RF fits in with our mission by developing antennas for manned and unmanned aircraft for the Air Force. We've developed antennas for the Navy and the Army. It's been fun. I've been able to put antennas on vehicles for all three services, which is, doesn't happen every day. The Air Force SBIR program is just a gift in many ways. What it allows us to do is we have a need. We don't need to spec it out. We can just put it out there and allow small businesses to come up with innovative ideas to try to solve the problem. And if they do, we can take the technology and transition it to meet the need. First Draft literally started in a closet adjacent to the University of Colorado. We've since grown to 115 people, roughly 100,000 square foot of space. First RF was the recipient of the 2011 Tibbetts Award, and we're recognized across the industry, both commercial and Department of Defense, as a leader in development of antenna technologies. This antenna you see right here is a product that First RF manufactures and is used on the Shadow RQ-7B for communications. My older brother runs a Shadow platoon and is deployed right now utilizing our equipment in the field. So it makes me feel good to come to work every day and contribute to the mission of our armed services.